Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to fine tune a large language model such as Llama V2. You can also apply the same for any other uh, LLM such as Falcon or Llama V1 or any other LLM available out there. Today we are going to use a custom data set uh, which is in CSV format and uh, we it has three different columns. So this is like an instruction data set exactly an instruction data set but you, you can use any other data set you want if you if you just have text you can use that what we are going to do today is we are doing the instruction fine tuning but you can also do simple fine tuning if you like to do that so it has three columns first column is instruction second column is input and third column is output so uh, instruction is give three tips for staying healthy okay so this uh, okay so the best way to look at this data set is to just load it and then then we then I think it's pretty easier. So let's open NyPython, import pandas and so this will be data.csv. So here is my data set. Okay, um, okay, so there is instruction, uh, input, and some kind of output. So you see like here there is no instruction. Hopefully we can find one with uh, input. Sorry, there is no input. Yeah, so like here is um, one instruction, identify the odd one out. And you have three different input or uh, input text and one output. So the idea is to convert this to a format which can be used uh, by Autotrain. That, that's what we will be using. So we can do that quickly by creating a convert.py and you also need to add the instructions, right? So my data frame is Uh, pd dot read csv and here we have data dot csv so the technique that I'm showing you you can custom fine tune on any data set you want okay so we got the data set now we need another column so I can uh, call, call a text column so I can just write for okay um, and we go through all the columns or oh, sorry all the rows and we have a new text column let's say this is empty at first so we need some kind of prompt and prompt can be anything. You are a bot, you answer question based on the instruction, or it can be something like this. Okay, below is an instruction that describes a task, pair with an input that provides further context, write a response that appropriately completes the request. So this, this can be one of the prompts. You can design different kinds of prompts. And then we have uh, instruction and input and a response so instruction row instruction input is row input query because input is a word a uh, reserve word so input and uh what what was the let's let's print df dot head okay so it was instruction input and output that's what i wanted to see instruction input and response is row output the output coming from the bot so now my text will be uh, prompt 
So sometimes we don't have the input query. So I can just say if len input query dot strip is zero. And it's also probably a good idea to convert just everything to string, if not already. Otherwise, it might throw an error when some, there is some number or something. And I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to say df is df dot fill na with, the, with nothing. So here now my length will be zero. So, so it's going to be prompt plus and then uh, prompt ends with two new lines. So here I can write um, hash hash instruction. So this is all totally up to you. Instruction, then plus instru instruction, uh, plus, then again, a new line, response, and you have the response. Okay. So your text is your prompt plus instruction, then a space, then the instruction, uh, then you have the response. You can also like, instead add a slash n here, and then instruction, and then slash n response, slash n. Okay, let's use this format. This is the alpaca format. Um, response, okay, and Otherwise, you just you also need to add the context. So I'm just going to copy paste this thing and paste it here. So you have the instruction and also the input. So you can just say like, okay, input uh, in the Twitter uh, LinkedIn case it was also like input. So slash n. input and then you have plus input query okay so now you got prompt uh, that has after that you have two new lines then hash 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 instruction then you have the instruction then you have the input input query here you can also add a slash n uh, then you have slash n response okay great so now we can do so this is like a very crude way of doing things text column dot append text and we can say df dot And we have we have just added the text column. Okay. Now we can just save it. So df dot to CSV. Let's just save it like train dot CSV. That makes our job easy without the index column. Okay, if you also have um, validation set, you can also save it as valid.csv and it will be saved in the same folder where your uh, where everything is, where the script is. So I can now just run python convert.py. Yeah, so pretty fast. So we have already converted our file to train.csv which has a text column which is with the instructions and everything so now what we can do is uh, that that's all actually if you have the valid column you can also if you have a validation data set you can save it as a valid.csv otherwise just leave it like that the next step is to install autotrain and you can install autotrain using 
pip install auto train hyphen advanced so once you have installed auto train this is going to take a few seconds you can also run auto train setup so since everything is changing so fast in the world of language models auto train setup is going to upgrade all your python packages especially uh, transformers and trl and all these kind of packages to the latest from the main branch if you don't want to do this don't do this it's a it's a little bit risky too so do it in a, your own env environment uh, you can also do auto train setup update torch now this is very useful because uh, colab doesn't have torch 2.0 so this is going to install uh, torch also uh, yeah you can also run the whole thing whatever i'm showing you today in collab <coughs> so now comes the one and only command which is auto train llm command and you can see all the parameters by typing auto train llm hyphen hyphen help and now it's going to show you like all the parameters that you can tune so we we are not going to look at all all the different kinds of parameters so like let's let's say you have the train split so here in case you have the csv file the file name is your split name okay you can also use any data set from the hub so if i wanted here here i could just uh, convert this to a hugging face data set format push it to hub and then just use the data set name okay so let's train the model so we do auto train lm minus minus train the train command and now we have the project name so project name it can be anything my llm and a model name so you have to specify the model from the hub so here my model is meta llama slash llama 27b hf so you need to have access to this model so if you don't have access to the model you won't be able to use it and if you don't have access if you have access then uh, to use auto train you should be you should be logging in from hugging face cli i will show you in the end minus minus data path so my data is stored in the same in this folder so i'll just do dot and now i can do uh, use peft so we do have to use peft and use 4bit otherwise i cannot train locally um, and we can also adjust the learning rate to let's say to e minus 4 uh, train batch size since i have two gpus uh, i can do it 12 and num train epochs to three and for today we will be using the sft trainer so you can also use the generic trainer so it just provides you with the parameter minus minus trainer sft and let's press enter unrecognized arguments project name use beft uh, okay so use underscore four bit and we are missing a uh, missing two hyphens here okay so you'll have the command uh, uh in in like uh in the description box so use it's not use four bit so i made this thing and you yeah. I'm also confused. Use int four. So now, hopefully, it should work. So yeah, it tells you okay, loading data data set from CSV. So nothing is stored on the hub, and it's loading the shards and uh, the training should start. So the training has started and you can see it's showing me like one hour to go, but it's not going to take one hour. It's going to probably take like 30 minutes uh, since we are using packing with a SFT trainer. But these are the parameters that you don't need to care about. All you need to care about is putting data in proper format and running one single command. 
now uh, th this is going to take a while if you want to use this model later on you can also uh, just load it from my LLM and you can see like you can also run tensorboard here so when the model is done it's going to appear here inside my LLM folder that's your project name so now if you want to if you want to push it to hub you can also use push to hub command so let me just clear this for you so if you want to push to hub you can just add push to hub and with that you also need the repo id so with your user and my llama let's say so when once the training is done it's automatically going to push your model here then you can use api inference or you can use inference endpoints to just deploy the model it's fully production ready or you can remove these commands and you can just play with it locally so your data is local your models are local and every, everything is local so i had two gpus so it was using a batch size of 12 but i can also uh, just use one GPU and reduce the batch size to let's say two or four and it works fine on a single GPU and I also tried to use the same command on uh, Google Colab even the free version it will work but for the free version you have to make sure that you create a copy of this data set and then shard it into multiple smaller chunks so these are only two chunks here so otherwise it's going to eat up all your ram so i've already created a sharded ver version of uh, uh, multiple sharded version of this data set and i can also uh, put that in the description box and you can use it directly in the free version of google collab and you can just run this command so i think that's is the easiest way to train or fine-tune llm these days i hope you give it a try if you have any questions or comments or suggestions uh, please write to me in the comment section and do like the video do subscribe and share the video with your friends and see you next time goodbye